Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find a real root of the equation cos x equal to 3x minus 1. Correct to 5 decimal places by fixed point iteration method. From the given equation cos x equal to 3x minus 1, we are going to write f of x. f of x equal to cos x and taking these two terms to the other side, it becomes minus 3x plus 1. We have to take a value for x and evaluate f of x till we get the opposite signs. Let's take the first value as 0. Now f of 0 equal to cos 0 minus 3 into 0 plus 1. Cos 0 is 1 and this is 0 and last term is 1. Totally we get 2 and this is a positive value. Now coming to f of 1. It means cos 1 minus 3 into 1 plus 1 and this value is in radian. When we evaluate using calculator, we take the scientific calculator and here cos 1. Now I take 1 and radian value of cos we get 0 0.5403023 and keep going like this. And the second value is minus 3. So this value minus 3 then at the end we have plus 1. So totally this is minus 1.459697. Let's write the value here minus 1.4596976. So if I round off this 977. Now we see this is a negative value. So there is a sign change happens between 0 and 1. When we find f of 0, it is a positive value. We find f of 1, it is a negative value. So we come to know the root lies between 0 and 1. Now we are going to write the given function cos x equal to 3x minus 1 as x equal to g of x. That is writing x in terms of x itself. So from this, we take this minus 1 to the other side. So we get 3x equal to cos x plus 1. And from this, the value of x is cos x plus 1 whole divided by 3. Now we got this in the form of x is written in terms of a function g of x. So we got g of x as cos x plus 1 whole divided by 3. We have to evaluate its derivative g dash of x. This 3 is a constant so we don't have to follow the quotient rule. Differentiation of the numerator is minus sin x and denominator will be written as it is. So the magnitude of G of g dash of x is mod of minus sin x by 3. So by taking modulus it becomes positive. Now already we found the root lies between 0 and 1. Let's find the modulus of g dash of 0. It means it is sin 0 by 3 which is 0 it is less than 1 and g dash of 1 is sin 1 by 3 which is we have to calculate the sin 1 so we take 1 and sin of that value and now we have to divide by 3 and that gives 0 0.28049 we shall write it here 0 0.28049 even this is less than 1. So, both the value of 
g dash of 0 and g dash of 1, its modulus value is coming less than 1. So the method can be applied. Now I have to choose the value of x0. So let's take the x0 as somewhat middle of the value where the f of x changes its sign. Here we change from positive to negative between 0 and 1. So let's take the value between 0 and 1 around the middle which is 0 0.5. Now we have x is equal to cos x plus 1 by 3. Now we have to find x1 using cos x0 plus 1 by 3. When we evaluate this, we have to maintain the 5 decimal places to arrive the correct solution as per the question. So now the value of x0 is taken as 0 0.5 plus 1 whole divided by 3. We are using calculator 0 0.5 cos value then plus 1 then divided by 3 we get 0 0.625 let's write it here 0 0.625 8 6 and uh, we have to stop with 5 decimal places it's 6 0 so I stop with 8 6 at the end now we have to find x2 which is cos x1 plus 1 whole divided by 3 which is cos 0 0.62586 and its value plus 1 then whole division by 3 let's calculate this value using calculator so 0 point 0 0.62586 its cos value plus 1 whole division by 3. So this value we are going to write it as x2 which is 0 0.603486. So when we round off it becomes 9 here because we made it the 5 decimal places. We got x2. Now x3 is cos x2 plus 1 whole division by 3 so it is cos of 0 0.60349 plus 1 whole division by 3 let's calculate this value using calculator so 0 0.60349 cos value plus 1 whole division by 3 we get 0 0.60777 it's right here 0 0.60777866 when I round off it becomes 9 here then coming to x4 so cos x3 plus 1 whole division by 3 so we get cos 0 0.60777 9 plus 1 whole division by 3. Let's calculate using calculator 0 0.60779 cos value plus 1 then whole division by 3 0 0.606970. Let's write here which is 0 0.606970. Then coming to the next value x5 which is cos x4 plus 1 whole division by 3. So cos of 0 0.60697 plus 1 whole division by 3. Let's calculate this using calculator 0 0.60 Six nine seven cos value plus one and whole division by three. So which is zero point six zero seven one two. 
zero point six zero seven one two six. So when I round up, you can make it as three at the end. Then coming to the next value, x six, which is cos x by plus one whole division by three. So it is cos zero point six zero seven one three plus one whole division by three. Let's evaluate this. So we have zero point six zero. Seven one three cos value in plus one and whole division by three. So this value is zero point six zero seven zero nine six. Then I round up become one. Sorry, it becomes zero point six zero seven one zero. Then coming to the next value, x seven. Which is cos x six plus one whole division by three. So cos zero point six zero seven one zero plus one whole division by three. Let's calculate this using calculator. Point six zero seven one zero cos value plus one whole division by three. So once again we are getting the same value that is 0.60710. We find these two values are same. It is x6 value and x7 value. So we can say the two consecutive values x6 equal to x7. The value is 0.60710. One zero. So we can say the better approximate root is zero point six zero seven one zero.